Yeah, it looks like there were several hundred people who uh, showed up for this celebration of life. Uh, let us uh, show you her picture, if we could. Uh, we're going to show you 35-year-old, or rather Monique Clark, who died at the young age of 35. She uh, left, leaves behind three young daughters, ages 13, 11, and 2. And today there was a celebration of her life, attended by several hundred people. Of course, uh, less than two weeks ago, she was one of seven people who were shot. A total of eight people were injured in that shooting in university, mass shooting in University City. Unfortunately, she was the only one who uh, died from her wounds. Now, at today's uh, celebration of life, we talked to one of the church's associate pastors. We're gathered here this morning uh, as a community. Uh, to celebrate the life of Monique Clark. Uh, you know, she, tragically, she lost her life uh, a couple of weeks ago. She's the mother of three beautiful children. Uh, she has an amazing family, and, and really the request of the family was to come here as a community uh, to gather, uh, to celebrate her life, to celebrate uh, her family, uh, but as well as to come together and to mourn uh, and really start that healing process. Uh, it was really important to the family that the healing process starts, that it's a process of unity, it's a process of coming together really as one, as well as a process of starting forgiveness, and, and those things which are so important towards moving on, towards healing, and towards processing all of those things that have happened. Now, Monique Clark had a soft spot in her heart for the homeless, and she had uh... Uh, volunteered at various homeless shelters, which is why today they asked that people bring non-perishable items to be donated to the San Diego Food Bank. And also, uh, she was a member of this church, and they will have that bin open every single uh, weekend so people can donate. Uh, now, back here live in a very magnanimous gesture, Monique's family, despite the tra tragic nature of her death and uh, you know some questions about whether this was a hate crime, her family today wanted to offer a message of forgiveness. In Point Loma, John Soderman, KSI News.